Welcome to English Skills Mastery. When you meet new people, first impressions are incredibly important. A good introduction can make people remember you in a good way. In today's video, Patrick will show you how to introduce yourself in English. You'll learn some useful vocabulary and expressions that are commonly used in everyday conversations. This will also be a great opportunity for you to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. How to introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Patrick. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to introduce myself to you. I am 28 years old. I was born in Chicago. It's a big and lively city. I grew up in a close-knit family with one younger sister. I can talk to my parents about anything. My family is very important to me. We always had fun and cared for each other. I went to college at the University of California, Berkeley. It's in a beautiful part of California. There, I studied business. I learned about how companies work and how to sell things. College life was more than just classes and books. It was about making friends and trying new things. One cool thing I did was start a project focused on helping the environment. It was tough, but it felt good to work on something important. After college, I moved to San Francisco for work. I landed a job in a marketing firm. I started as an intern, which is a beginner job. But I worked hard and learned a lot. Now, I help plan the advertisements and understand what people like to buy. What I love most about my job is the chance to think outside the box and connect with people in creative ways. In my free time, I have two big hobbies. One is trying new foods. San Francisco has food from all over the world. I like tasting different things and finding my favorites. My second hobby is photography. I have a camera and I take pictures of the city, the food, and sometimes my friends. It's fun to capture good moments. My dream for the future is to become better at my job. I want to learn more about marketing and help more businesses. I think it's important to have good communication skills and to be creative. Someday, I might start my own company. That is a big dream, but I think it's possible. Interesting vocabulary and expressions. Before we begin our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and expressions from our story. Understanding these will help you improve your English skills. Thrilled means very excited and happy. Example, I was thrilled to receive an invitation to her wedding. If a group of people are close-knit, they all help and support each other. Example, we have a close-knit family that spends a lot of time together. Something that is cool is fashionable, attractive, or impressive. Example, she has a cool new bicycle. Tough means difficult to do or deal with. It also can mean strong and not easily hurt. Example, the math test was really tough, but I managed to pass. To land means to get or achieve something good, often a job or opportunity. Example, after months of searching, he finally landed a good job. A firm means a business or a company. Example, she's just started working for an accounting firm. An intern is a student or trainee who works, sometimes without pay, in order to get experience in a particular type of work. Example, during the summer, he worked as an intern at a software company. Creative means having or showing an ability to make new things or think of new ideas. Example, this job is so boring. I wish I could do something more creative. To think outside the box means to think creatively, not following the usual ways of thinking. 
Example, we need to think outside the box to solve this problem. To capture means to record or take a picture of something using a camera. Example, the photographer was able to capture the beauty of the sunset. Now it's time to practice. Repeat after Patrick. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Patrick. My name is Patrick. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to introduce myself to you. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to introduce myself to you. I am 28 years old. I am 28 years old. I was born in Chicago. I was born in Chicago. It's a big and likely city. It's a big and likely city. I grew up in a close-knit family with one younger sister. I grew up in a close-knit family with one younger sister. I can talk to my parents about anything. I can talk to my parents about anything. My family is very important to me. My family is very important to me. We always had fun and cared for each other. We always had fun and cared for each other. I went to college at the University of California, Berkeley. I went to college at the University of California, Berkeley. It's in a beautiful part of California. It's in a beautiful part of California. There, I studied business. There, I studied business. I learned about how companies work. I learned about how companies work and how to sell things and how to sell things. College life was more than just classes and books. College life was more than just classes and books. It was about making friends and trying new things. It was about making friends and trying new things. One cool thing I did one cool thing I did was start a project focused on helping the environment. It was start a project focused on helping the environment. It was tough. It was tough. But it felt good to work on something important. But it felt good to work on something important. After college, after college, I moved to San Francisco for work. I moved to San Francisco for work. I landed a job in a marketing firm. I landed a job in a marketing firm. I started as an intern. I started as an intern, which is a beginner job, which is a beginner job. But I worked hard and learned a lot. But I worked hard and learned a lot. Now, I help plan the advertisements. Now, I help plan the advertisements. 
and understand what people like to buy. And understand what people like to buy. What I love most about my job is the chance to think outside the box. What I love most about my job is the chance to think outside the box. And connect with people in creative ways. And connect with people in creative ways. In my free time. In my free time. I have two big hobbies. I have two big hobbies. One is trying new foods. One is trying new foods. San Francisco has food from all over the world. San Francisco has food from all over the world. I like tasting different things. I like tasting different things and finding my favorites and finding my favorites. My second hobby is photography. My second hobby is photography. I have a camera. I have a camera. And I take pictures of the city, the food. And I take pictures of the city, the food. And sometimes my friends. And sometimes my friends. It's fun to capture good moments. It's fun to capture good moments. My dream for the future is to become better at my job. My dream for the future is to become better at my job. I want to learn more about marketing and help more businesses. I want to learn more about marketing and help more businesses. I think it's important to have good communication skills. I think it's important to have good communication skills. And to be creative. And to be creative. Someday, I might start my own company. Someday, I might start my own company. That is a big dream. That is a big dream. But I think it's possible. But I think it's possible. Listen to the story carefully one more time. Hi everyone. My name is Patrick. I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to introduce myself to you. I am 28 years old. I was born in Chicago. It's a big and lively city. I grew up in a close-knit family with one younger sister. I can talk to my parents about anything. My family is very important to me. We always had fun and cared for each other. I went to college at the University of California, Berkeley. It's in a beautiful part of California. There, I studied business. I learned about how companies work and how to sell things. College life was more than just classes and books. It was about making friends and trying new things. One cool thing I did was start a project focused on helping the environment. It was tough, but it felt good to work on something important. After college, I moved to San Francisco for work. I landed a job in a marketing firm. I started as an intern, which is a beginner job. But I worked hard and learned a lot. 
Now, I help plan the advertisements and understand what people like to buy. What I love most about my job is the chance to think outside the box and connect with people in creative ways. In my free time, I have two big hobbies. One is trying new foods. San Francisco has food from all over the world. I like tasting different things and finding my favorites. My second hobby is photography. I have a camera and I take pictures of the city, the food, and sometimes my friends. It's fun to capture good moments. My dream for the future is to become better at my job. I want to learn more about marketing and help more businesses. I think it's important to have good communication skills and to be creative. Someday, I might start my own company. That is a big dream, but I think it's possible. Great work today. Keep up the fantastic effort. Remember, every lesson brings you a step closer to fluency in English. We're excited to see you in our next lesson. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Until next time, happy learning and see you soon.